Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by Hey viewers, Dave here for Snappy Turtle Comics and Gallery. Snappy Turtle Gallery is your go-to destination for geeky, nerdy prints, and each is just $5. With over 600 prints and growing, you're sure to find something you'll love. Go to SnappyTurtleGallery.com today and get yours. I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at MetalheadMinis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at MetalheadMinis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. Hey guys, it's uh, Dave for Gamers on Games. Uh, so, this is just kind of a quick pickup and quick follow-up video. Um, so, after I did the video about um, uh, the Warhammer 40k stuff coming to Marvel, uh, I got a lot of people asking various questions about uh, Disney and what if they acquire, are they acquiring, and all this other stuff. So, uh... I'm, I'm going to just take every single one of those in turn. The main one I got was, is Disney buying GW? No. As far as I understand, no. Uh, what would I do if if Disney did buy GW? I don't think they'd do anything. Um, <laughs> I don't think there would be much change. I think it would be a case of um, they'd acquire it, they'd do whatever they're going to do with it, and that would be it. Um, I don't think it would be the end of GW. In fact, it might actually bring new life into it because Disney has more resources than they do. Uh, I got another people asking, um, oh, well, just imagine what, what would happen if Disney got it and what they would do with it. And I'm like, they're not going to, you know, first of all, if you're thinking that they're going to do like some cartoon kitty version of it, like, and try and make it you know, true to the, to the actual universe as it was, akin to when Battletech got its cartoon show, I don't think you're going to get that. Um, I think what would really happen is, if, if on the way outside chance that Disney had actually acquired uh, GW and was going to do something with 40K, they would not do it directly. I think what they would do is they would license it out to somebody else. Think of it kind of the way that... Um, they licensed out stuff for Marvel to, like, Netflix. Um, I think that's what you would see happen. Either they, they license it out to Netflix, or if they want to keep it in-house, they'd give it to, like, Miramax, which is the, like, adult um, production line for their movies. Um, I think you'd see that. As for Disney proper doing anything with it, they're not going to touch it, man. It's It's... It's too volatile, and it would be way too damaging to the family friend, uh, family friendly uh, face that they have for the Disney line. So when you guys are are freaking out, thinking, "Oh my God, what are they?" They're not going to do anything. So you guys are riling yourselves up again or about nothing. Uh, again, had a bunch of people going, "Oh, don't you think that uh, Marvel's going to insert their SJW and?" leftist progressive values on 40k not even close i again i i think you guys are trying to find something that you can get all angry about because that's how it reads especially with many of the comments i've been dealing with and sorting through and blocking uh <laughs> some of you guys got a filthy mouth um but it's a case of 
I don't think what you guys are, are anticipating is going to be what's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen because I don't think GW is going to allow it to happen. I think that they've got probably very strict guidelines for what Marvel can do and cannot do. Um, if they're bringing in writers, I have a feeling it's going to be either writers who are already familiar with the lore and all that stuff, or it's going to be a case of whoever is going to be assigned it will have to bone up. Um, and there may even be an approvals process for all scripts going through GW, so they have to read it and go, yeah, okay, we like this, or no, this wouldn't work this way, or whatever the case is going to be. I'm sensing a lot of... Um, a, a lot of gatekeeping, really, with this entire situation. And I think you guys are looking a little too hard into it. I think if you bring it down a few notches, I think you'll be fine. And I think you'll be happy with what comes out of this. I think, on the overall, people are just way too uptight about all this. <sighs> Licensing and production has changed over the years. Um, a good example... What you would have to do with, like, remember the old D&D &D cartoon? Okay, think about that. Now, think about what the regulation was there versus what you're allowed to put in a kid's cartoon now. Good example being, you know, D&D &D was made in mid-80s. Like, I think it was like 84, 85. Um, compare that to like Animaniacs from the 90s. I mean, you really had some risque jokes in there that they were able to get past the censors. Um, and even go even further, think about things like Exo Squad, um, where effectively they did um, a science fiction version of World War II and the Holocaust, but with kids, but for kids, you know? I mean, you can get away with a lot now. Um, heck, I mean, if you, if you want to get into it, Look at, like, the complex uh, themes in things like, for God's sakes, I, didn't, I can't even believe I'm going to even mention this, but complex themes in things like She-Ra, okay? Um, now, it, <laughs> the reason I know some of the themes is because my daughter's watching it and my wife is big into it. Um, I really couldn't care less, but it's on when I'm in the room, so I'm kind of catching pieces of it. There's some pretty heavy stuff in there, and I'm not talking, like, you know, the moral of the story is, I'm talking like, there is some deep underlying psychosis. I'm talking things along the lines of like, what you were dealing with for subtext in uh, um, Avatar The Last Airbender. Because there's no way you can watch that show or have heard of that show and not tell me that there's a lot more to it than just a kid's cartoon. Because that was my problem when I was first exposed to it. I thought, okay, it's just a kid's show. There is so much more going on under the surface than... Okay, it's a Nickelodeon show. Whoop de do. Um, I th I think if they were to try and make a kids show out of it, it would be more along those lines. It would be something much heavier. It might be a little fluff on the surface, deep underlying messages and psychosis underneath. So that's if they were going to do it. I just don't think it's going to happen. I think if they were going to do it. You know what, if they if they do an animated version, you know what I would like to actually see? Not a CG version. I would love to see it done in anime style. And I'm thinking something along the lines of I think I'd probably go with like Devil Man level level of content. Um, because I think that would actually be about where you'd want to kind of level off. I think Blood C plus is a little too extreme. I think Devil Man might be where you want to set. Yeah, I think that's about where you're going to wind up. Okay, so anyway, um, that's my thoughts. That's where I would probably hem everything in. But, um, again, I think the comics are going to be the comics, guys. I, think we're, I don't think your guys are going to be too disappointed. I think the writing just might be a little bland. Um, but I think all the action that you're going to be looking for, I think is going to be there. All right, guys. So that's it. That's my take on, that's my hot take on, on the whole GW and Disney thing. So, all right. Catch you guys later. And, um, obviously I'll see you all in the comment section. Bye.
Just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out.